Hello and welcome to today's yin yoga class. This is week three of our five-part minimal cues yoga series. Today's class is based on the metal element and we'll be targeting the neck and shoulders. Let's begin by just finding an easy seat at the center of the mat, the tall spine, and maybe inviting the eyelids to close as you spend just a few minutes checking in, taking inventory of how we're feeling before we begin today's practice. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine. Exhale, shoulders dropping down and away from the ears. And allow your attention to land on the natural rhythm of your breath. Noticing the rise with each inhale, the fall with each exhale. As we're here, I'd invite you to set an intention for your practice today. Take an inhale through the nose, into the Dantian. <sighs> Sigh it away, letting all the air leave the lungs. Two more times like this. Inhale. Filling the belly. And let it go. One more deep inhale. As you exhale fully, allow the eyelids to open once again. Our first asana of the day is a toe squat. So beginning on the knees, the toes tucked under. Spread each toe apart slightly so our weight is evenly distributed. Then if you can, allow the chest to rise, finding a reverse prayer behind your back, or maybe just reaching for opposite elbows if reverse prayer is not accessible for you today. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, shoulder blades dropping down and back. And begin to settle into the stillness for two minutes here.
wonderful job. In your own time, gently release yourself from this pose and maybe at the back of your mat in a child's pose. Take an inhale, filling the belly. With your exhale, see if you can reach the fingertips a little bit further toward the end of the mat. And then I would invite you to go ahead and bring the hands into prayer over the head here, going deeper into our shoulders and triceps. Once again, settle into the stillness. Once you find your edge, and we will be here for three minutes. Draw on one more deep inhale here and let it go fully, surrendering a little deeper to the pose. And when you're ready, releasing and finding your way onto your back for a short rebound. Gently tuck the shoulder blades down and back, arms at the sides, palms facing up. And feel the echo of the pose. If you want to stay in your rebound even longer, 
feel free to pause the video. But if you're ready to go into our next asana, then simply turn over onto your stomach again. As you inhale, lift the chest. The elbows are under the shoulders, palms flat, as we find our sphinx pose. doing great just one more minute All right, with your next exhale, gently allow the chest to fall back toward the mat. Taking just a few moments here to notice any changes happening in the body, maybe in the mind. Then we're going to cactus the right arm at the side, making a 90 degree angle. So that upper arm is straight out from the chest and shoulder. Then begin to press up into our open wing pose. That top leg can rest with the foot in front or behind the body. Take any micro adjustments to find that effective stretch in your chest and shoulder area. And then once again, settle into the stillness. That left hand can be resting on the mat or you can place the hand behind the low back. 
Another three minutes in this pose. the mind has wandered, gently usher your awareness back to the breath. We are over halfway on this side. All right, let's take one more inhale. As you exhale, slowly lower the chest back toward the mat. Again, taking any time you need here before transitioning to the other side. Again, taking those micro adjustments with that left arm to find that stretch in your chest and pec through the shoulder. Staying anchored to the breath and to this present moment.
Let's take about two more deep and slow breaths in this pose. Breathing into the dantian, the space between the belly button and pubic bone. And exhaling fully and slowly. One more inhale. As you exhale, release all the air, releasing the chest back down to the mat. And in your own time, turn yourself over onto your back for our final Shavasana. Gently tucking the shoulder blades down and back. Palms are facing up. Once again, notice the effects that this practice has had on you. Notice a deeper state of calm. Return your awareness back to the breath. To each exhale, imagining yourself sink another centimeter into the surface beneath you. I would encourage you to stay in Shavasana even longer today if you have time. Or if you'd like to finish with a yoga nidra or meditation, check out my playlist with those options available on my channel page. If you're ready to finish with me though and move on with your day, then with your next exhale, gently turn over onto your right side. Stretch any way you need to stretch. And meet me seated for our final closing breath together. Inhale as you reach the arms up toward the sky. And exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. As you simply acknowledge yourself for taking the time to honor your mind and body in this way today. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. This was week three of our five-part Minimal Cues yoga series. 
If you'd like to follow along with this series, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. Liking and subscribing are two of the easiest and free ways to support this channel. I also always love to hear your guys' feedback, so be sure to leave a comment below if you've been following along. Let me know what you think of this series so far, or if you have any suggestions for a future series. If you would like some longer classes or access to other exclusive perks, then be sure to check out my membership options that I now have available by hitting that join button or checking out the membership tab on my channel page. Thank you again for joining me for today's practice. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.